Hello dear doctors, as you can see today's topic is on GIT overview. This is Dr. Sherrier and you know I'm going to give you the overview on the GIT. So I hope so you all are going to enjoy. So here you go and uh, hi. So uh, coming back again with an, another overview of the topic that is the GIT overview as you know is this GIT is uh, you know if we just count gastrointestinal system uh, started usually from as you can see uh, esophagus esophagus I hope so you will be agreed okay so esophagus then the stomach stomach means the gastric things uh, then there would be the you know the intestine that's the some of the intestinal things and after that intestine the sigmoid colon is also included on the that one and there'll be some of the you know the rectum and the, some of the anal canal some of the surgical thing it's not really medicine thing some of the surgical so sometimes few things might overlap uh, example obstruction is purely is a surgical thing so we'll, we're not going to discuss obstructions especially in medicine all right so this is the overview of you know gastrointestinal system okay so let's go and you know hit this part like you know what are the things you exactly need from various books actually all right so let's just clean this part okay so you have written already so john murthag uh, the book names are i just i'm just using shortcut today because last day we made a lot of bigger pictures so books are john murthag master the board and the davidson the main book is no doubt john murthag and that seventh edition we also told you guys you know if some of the countries which does not have john murthag seventh edition uh, in that case we will try help sending like sri lanka nepal philippine yeah so if these countries does not have the john murthag we'll try to send those book by courier as extra help to you guys anything for education i'm always there don't worry um so these are the book side so first your priority is to you know read things from the john murthag all right then master the bond uh if you have time thirdly you know sometimes reference like say if one topic you're not sure you recall that is showing uh maybe something confusing thing all right in that case you know you can go and you know check the davidson for the references of course there are more websites like if i just write that w as yeah website signs are like this if i talk about the websites go to websites uh rscgp rscgp okay send rs after from rscgp there could be medscape medscape is another popular one uh, if you have up to the subscription that is okay but others no need also it could be med bullets okay so and also there's so on lot of type of website you can search with any topic a lot of type of information uh, aafp is another good one all right so so anything you can use like in a website because you will need the website at certain point for the theory part we need this for recall part we also need we also need not only books we also need the uh, website even for the recall explanation so i hope so you enjoyed last day how i covered a lot of you know recalls from the respiratory i hope so you enjoyed okay so keep checking in the groups and all this thing if anything is new uh try to upload in our group and uh, do notify us low no problem we'll be helping always we are helpful so and before we start as we mentioned the sma tetrad uh theory recall mocks and question banks so theory recall mocks and the question bank. this is the tetra that's how you said if someone said okay just you know solve this question bank, you will pass and this is yeah you can pass with your concept anything you can pass. even you don't need read anything you can pass that's a different thing i'm talking about the average people like most of me you we are average so some people are beyond average so that's a different thing so average people with only question bank that you can't pass probably and mc exam is a difficult exam and they are planning to make it more difficult in the coming days okay it's also in their website nowadays okay so so since last june they have you know raised the bar previously you know those of our students who are getting 
350, 360, you know, insane mark, you know, 382 was highest mark record in MC. is a one of our candidate, you know, Dr. Taufik got the mark, you know, it's extremely high mark. So previous last year, back in 2018, this was the marks from, you know, SMA. Uh, but, you know, thing happened like, you know, because since too many passing mark or maybe more brokers are passing, now they cut down the marking system. Nowadays, students who are getting 350, now they're getting uh, almost like 310 so there's a, like uh, I would say 40 to 45 marks you know they are making changes nowadays actually so that means previously one doctor who was passing with 280 and 290 now they are getting failed yeah so then just minusing some of the marks and all this thing I told that one uh, nowadays they put that one in the website that they are changing the pattern and changing all this thing but you don't need to worry our passing rate is still okay uh, if 20 25 people appeared one can fail uh, that's a different thing previously in back in 2000 is a very rarely people failed from our academy this 19 we have seen maybe out of 21 fail because of the marking system is so much change you can't be relaxed now previously only with my you know theory some people used to pass actually but um, theory plus recall that what i every time i say it actually so this is a tetra theory recall mock question bank question bank will give you so don't worry no need to buy any question bank okay so uh, this is the thing all right now as you can see like this is the tetrad and all these things well done so let's start with the thing esophagus okay so let's start with the thing that esophagus esophagus some countries they started with e the name esophagus only so in esophagus what are the topics we need to know i'll tell you the page numbers i'll also try to tell you so this time we made a lot of changes in sml lecture so i uh, feel like sometime um, you also we need to have some you know interaction uh, you know uh, directly so that will be more better so from the esophageal side i'll tell you some of the points which is required from the esophagus like say uh, i hope so you're writing uh, Z E R D, Z E R D, and uh, similar one thing, achalasia, achalasia. Uh, then you know there are some of the thing like cancer, cancer of the esophagus, uh, eosinophilic, uh, eosinophilic esophagitis. This is another thing, eosinophilic esophagitis. Uh, sometimes dyspepsia related uh, they might ask you uh, they might also ask you about uh, Mallory West Mallory West all right so they might also ask you this one Mallory Ace and this kind of thing so you need to understand uh, these are the topic so I'll tell you the page number of different thing so please follow me like you know which I'm going to tell you for um, uh, different page numbers from the John Murthak so ZRD guys you know you can get the ZRD from page number um, uh, 549 ZERD uh, along with ZRD you need to read the Barrett's esophagus which is on 550 then you will find the uh, some of the things uh, let me tell you uh, example just give me a second like achalasia achalasia page number if you just note it down uh, which is given in 557 achalasia esophageal cancer again given in uh, 557 very very important uh, esophageal cancer you need to know from john murthag what i'm saying right now is from john murthag seventh edition which you need to see uh, those are using the sixth edition you can convert the page number like you need to you know um, check 10 page you know 10 so 10 pages are different uh, with John Murthak uh, 7 so 5 to 7 or 5 to 10 page differences with 6th edition okay now uh, thing is uh, then there is um, eosinophilic esophagitis which is given in John Murthak in the page number is 554 I repeat page number is uh, 554 this is important all right so these are the certain thing and as I mentioned that uh, some of the cases are important like Mallory West, uh, Nutcracker, you know, so all those are some of the esophageal related uh, condition um, which often can be presented with chest pain actually. So chest pain is also DD because central chest pain can be related to esophageal, central chest pain related to uh, cardiac, central chest pain related to all of them. So 
in they are interrelated in that case okay so these are uh, some of the esophageal cases which I just now told you guys so after the esophageal thing like ZER, diachalasia, cancer, uh, eosinophilic, malaria, whereas malaria I'll tell you in the class is this no, it's not present in John Muthal okay so after the esophagus the thing that is coming I repeat the thing that is coming after the esophagus is your stomach like this the thing so, so, so gastro the stomach related thing uh, important are peptic ulcer disease then after the peptic ulcer disease thing is coming like uh, the cancer cancer zollinger ellison syndrome uh, again zollinger ellison syndrome it's not present in john Mutter. i'll teach you in the class uh, peptic ulcer disease present cancer stomach um, uh, that is present okay so these are some of the hot topic let me check if i'm missing any uh, topic and all this thing okay uh, just before i left into the stomach like uh, esophageal cases the most of the thing will be starting with the uh, dysphagia so we have a chapter already dysphagia you can check that one in john Murtha, that we have a separate chapter uh, on dysphagia so you can dysphagia the chapter is uh, 555 for seventh edition and 545 five from the sixth edition so this is the dysphagia chapter you should read it prior to the class if that's uh, quite a possible and apart from uh, the stomach size and all this thing i'm going to tell you now uh, from my john Murthag. just give me a second so uh, peptic ulcer disease the first one peptic ulcer disease is in john Murthag. it's given uh, 551 i repeat 551 from the seventh edition mm, then there will be uh, non ulcer dyspepsia another one you will get like see most common cause of ulcer is not peptic ulcer it's non ulcer me you many have this you know uh, discomfort symptoms so that's a non ulcer dyspepsia so which is given in uh, 551 page number 551 so that's uh, also important so related to nearby all those things you should read also you should read the dyspepsia at the same time uh, and you should also read about the bleeding peptic ulcer from John Murtak 552 7th and um, helicobacter pylori everything you should need to know helicobacter pylori treatment and all this thing after that stomach cancer thing came this one stomach cancer is giving in uh, 553 of the John Murtag. Uh, so you should go and uh, read that one all right let me check if there are any other thing um, also autoimmune gastritis this is a nice to know topic autoimmune gastritis you can just uh, check that one uh, one time i believe and one more thing you can read the varcos triad okay i we have seen questions from uh, varcos triad as well so you can go and uh, read this one definitely okay so these are somewhere the uh, i think the stomach related question which we have you know john Murthag, and the next uh, few thing will come is like diarrhea cases some of the diarrhea cases there is a chapter in john Murthag, in um, chapter number uh, 44 this is uh, 497 now uh, if you can leave the um, stomach and come to intestine if you just can clear this one and come to the intestinal part this is the uh, intestine in intestine if I say yeah obstruction is super high but obstruction is our surgical topics uh, then pancreas gallbladder those are surgical topic not here don't get confused okay so uh, intestine cases in case of intestinal things like very very important you need to know about the diarrhea some of the diarrhea acute diarrhea chronic diarrhea so these are important that inflammatory bowel diseases of course obstruction is very very important super high but it's for the surgery not for medicine classes okay so some of the lot of things in the intestine you will find which is related to actually surgery and from the uh, diarrhea as i mentioned the page number 497 uh, you can read the uh, diarrhea from there and as i mentioned that inflammatory bowel disease you can also read uh, inflammatory bowel disorder you can read from uh, John Murthag um, 508 508 
let me check one time irritable bowel syndrome there's another one uh, irritable bowel syndrome that is IBS uh, which is uh, related to uh, 511 I repeat 5114 inflammatory bowel syndrome inflammatory bowel disease again it is Crohn's disease and ulcerative again discussed in 511 so 511 has lot of so check all the thing which is related to uh, 511 and also you need to read the antibiotics so antibiotics coverages for uh, the diarrhea is very well given in uh, 509 page of John Murtak 509 John Murtag is very well given the treatment of diet individual antibiotic so that includes the antimicrobial drugs so you need to see that one as well all right so also you need to read about travelers diarrhea very very important travel medicine travelers diarrhea which is uh, 509 page 509 page antibiotic associated diarrhea again you can check from uh, 510 page all right uh, let me check if anything is left uh, even in the intestine there is few more but those are surgical thing guys dumping syndrome uh, diverticular uh, disease uh, those goes with the uh, surgical if someone more interest you can read even in medicine that's up to you uh, so you can go and check that one and there will be some rectal condition which is also related to surgery and also next day when we'll be studying we'll also read about capsule and some miscellaneous things we are telling which often comes in the exam like uh, capsule endoscopy and all these things so which is also very very important okay so let me just cross check one thing uh, from the topics um, okay, again ischemic colitis you know this is surgical topic ischemic colitis some of the thing um, so diarrhea gastroenteritis the, these things uh, you can definitely read uh, in medicine but uh, obstruction and those things are uh, surgical topic I'm just checking one time if I have missed anything here all right I think uh, that's all and uh, one more thing if something related to intestine also there is thing like cancer so which is colon cancer if I get time, I will teach you that one in medicine. Otherwise, it will be referred to surgery, which is another very, very important thing, colon cancer. But normally, it's a, so colon cancer, more things come. Uh, actually, everything is tested. But uh, screening of colon cancer, actually, we have separate screening class, guys. Screening, we have separate class, actually. So screening thing, I usually teach the colon cancer in the screening part, actually. But I'll try to give you some touch if I have time during the classes. So this is uh, esophagus, stomach, intestine, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, just for interest, I'm telling these things: um, the rectum and anal canal. You know, the rectal cases. Some of the rectal uh, cases can be uh, tested. Rectal that sigmoidal. So uh, anal fissure is a very popular thing. A surgical topic again. Anal fissure. Uh, pruritic ani, tic ani, okay, and also of course the cancer. Okay, so uh, so these are the certain things, and also uh, prolapse. Actually, you know uh, uh, there is a topic upper GIT bleeding and lower GIT bleeding. That particular case is actually related to both medicine and surgery. Upper GIT bleeding, you can understand uh, above the you know that particular part that uh, second part that is the upper GIT and below that is the lower GIT ligament of taste who you know who is the indicator what is the indicator ligament of taste which indicates is it the upper GIT lower GIT upper GIT bleeding is it the black terry stool lower GIT bleeding fresh you know rectal bleeding that's how we differentiate is my if my question is saying fresh bleeding that goes with the lower GIT if it's uh, black terry stool and all this thing that goes with the upper GIT bleeding so you need to know the causes separately upper GIT and the lower GIT I think that's all today for uh, the class and you know I uh, hope to see you next day in the class so thank you so much for, you know till we start and uh, you guys know that you know Sunday after class we take the exam so if we are going for a surgery class uh, exam will be just after usually the classes so thank you so much this is Dr. Sherrier and hope to see you soon okay all the best wishes